Okay, so um, we thought it would be really cool to give you guys a little tour of our hospital room in case none of you guys, in case you guys haven't seen like a delivery, like baby recovery room. Here's what ours looks like. Normal things. You have hand sanitizer and they, you know, the nurse's gloves that they put on whenever they come in. Um, they also have this handy curtain. Privacy little, curtain. Privacy curtain. So you got, you know, your front door and then this so you can cut off, you know, people looking in on you when they open the door. And it's especially good for us because we're like right by the like front desk area. So there's always mm -hmm. people outside our door. Um, but yeah, so you just kind of have, you have a sink and soap and a computer. This isn't, we don't really mess with any of this stuff. So here is the bed that I stayed in and it's not very made up very nicely. Um, but it, they're pretty comfortable. They have like the feet the knees that go up and down so like these knees so slowly come up and then this can go up and down like so um but it's really comfortable i mean it's not like especially comfortable but it's good and you can kind of arrange it this is the pillow that i brought and it was a very good idea i wish i would have brought in brought in brought um another one if not another one for zach because their pillows were just i don't know they're just like nothing they're pretty wooden. They feel pillows. like they're filled with plastic. Like. Yeah. So I definitely liked bringing my own pillow. But their sheets and blankets were good too, and they have plenty of those. So cabinets you can put bags and storage in. This is our TV that we had. A lot of people complain that their hospitals had like the tiniest TVs. We had this like really awesome flat screen, so that was really nice. So most hospitals will have trays like this that like slide over your bed. Somehow so it goes eat. in so you can like eat. Um slides in like this. So you have a little tray, a little bed tray. Yep, which is can nice. go up and down. Back to the bed, they have this control, the remote that can control the TV and can call your nurses in and also can like turn off some lights. Here's our little baby boy over here. The he best part of this room. In. We have him all ready to go and he's all snuggly. He's got a little owl beanie. We've delivered it. This is our third hospital, hospital that we've delivered at and so I don't know, we've seen a couple different kinds and they all have this same type of setup with these clear plastic bins <laughs> that yeah. the babies are in, so that's pretty regular. Tell them about this phone and this menu. Oh, okay, so th they, they have a phone, you know. It's actually kind of fun, it's like one of those old phones. <laughs> I like using it, I kind of want to take it. <laughs> and then this is our room service menu here at this hospital. They have really great room service, just with lots of different food. I can order as much food as I want. Zach gets one uh, daddy meal, partner meal, while he's here for the whole stay, so sometimes I order a little extra for him. At, at this hospital, they give you a nice jug to take home. I got one of these for Porter, and I used it like for years after I got him until it was like so nasty I had to throw it away. I'm excited to have a new one. Over here is Zach's living space. Um, <laughs> so this is a rocker which I never used, I kind of just stayed in my bed. And then this bed, I don't know how it folds out, but Zach yeah. slept on this one. I think there's like, there's pads underneath that kind of fold out. Yeah, but um, it folds out to a full bed. Not very comfortable, but yeah, it, folds it out, did the not job. Not full, but like it yeah. folds out long enough that he can sleep on it. This is our beautiful view. You probably can't see. Oh, wow. Yeah. Construction. Construction site, nice big pillar blocking our If sunlight. you look over here, I think I could see like barely like the tippy tops of like a tree. So I haven't seen the sky for a couple days, which seriously though, <laughs> like if you know you're gonna suffer from postpartum depression, I would maybe be sure to ask for like a room that has a view or I can see the sky because this has been a little sad for me. Yeah, for sure. But I can't complain because this is like amazing living. So this is a funny like little pain scale they have and they always ask you what your pain level is. <laughs> so, and then here's the bathroom, pretty. Normal as far as hospital Pretty bathrooms medical. go. Yeah. yeah. Toilet. Here are some of the. These are like. <laughs> this is the underwear that they give you guys. This is getting real here. That they give you. It's like meshy. These ones are actually kind of nice. Um, nicer than the ones I've had. So, but they're really comfortable. They're really soft. And yeah. I really so like you them. can put all the medicated pads yeah. and ice packs and everything else. After you, you have need. a baby, you bleed a lot, and so you don't want to get them on anything other than disposable, so probably didn't dispose of those since I touched them. Um, so yeah, we've got paper towels. So they actually had a blow dryer, which was handy for Zach, because he actually washed <laughs> his hair. 
<laughs> Zach used it. I did it. Zach blow dries his in, hair. Now everyone for, knows. I am due the for a, out. a hair wash. I was due for a hair wash when we came into the hospital, so my hair is really bad. Um, and then here's the shower. It's actually pretty nice. Um, I used this one when I showered. Um, because you can take it off yep. and like spray it. You can easily over. switch from that one to that one. These are the towels that we have in the hospital room. Um, tiny, scratchy, bring your own towels if you if you care about those types of things. I actually don't mind scratchy towels all that much. I kind of like them, but this one's too small and I like to have my own, so. Too scratchy. So yeah, there's the, there's the hospital bathroom. It's and, nice to have your own bathroom. And the hospital room, that's about it. Yep, and so that is our room. It is, so yeah, as far as rooms go, this wasn't hasn't been like our nicest room that we've had for the babies. Um, the one that we had in Arizona with Piper was, I remember it being pretty nice. The arrangement was just a little bit nicer. I can't really see Zach when he's over there when I'm sitting in the bed, but. And I can't see the TV when I'm over there. That's true. Yeah, he can't see the TV when he's sitting over there. So, I mean, these are silly little things that we shouldn't be complaining about. First world problems, right? But all in all, it's just been a super pleasant experience. And I enjoy having my births in hospitals just because of the convenience of everything. And I don't have to deal with my house and like thinking about doing dishes or cleaning things up or whatever. So that's why I like coming to hospitals. Um, it's just super convenient. Yep. So today is January 15th, uh, Sunday. It's almost noon. It's our last day here at the hospital. We've had a really great stay here, but we're really excited to go home um, and see our little kids. They're excited to see the baby. We've had a great stay here, but we're excited to take little Bo home. Three days old. He's so cute. Thanks for watching, you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Talk to you later. Bye.